In this video, we will be looking at how to build the EMA ribbon indicator on AAX. If you are unfamiliar with the EMA indicator, there is an article explaining the indicator on the AAX Academy. You'll be able to find this link in the description. Another crucial part of this EMA ribbon indicator is to be able to understand EMA crossovers. At AAX, we have also created another article on this. The link for this will also be in the description. We recommend you read through these articles before watching the rest of the video. Looking at the EMA Ribbon Indicator. The EMA Ribbon Indicator works through using a variety of EMAs using various amounts of data for each individual indicator in order to create a ribbon effect. Apart from looking pretty, the indicator can provide buy and sell signals as well as providing support and resistance. On the screen now, we can see an example of the EMA Ribbon Indicator on TradingView. The makeup of the EMA ribbon indicator. The EMA ribbon indicator consists of two main sections. The first section of this indicator is the long-term EMA. On the screen now, we can see the 200 EMA section of the indicator. The purpose of the 200 day EMA is firstly to provide support and resistance for the cryptocurrency. In the example on the screen now, we can see the 200 day EMA providing both support and resistance for BTC as indicated with the white arrows. The second section of the EMA ribbon indicator is the ribbon itself. The ribbon shows the EMA lines from multiple EMAs on the selected time frame. When using the ribbon, we look for crossovers. On screen now, we can see an example of bearish and bullish crossovers using the indicator. The bearish crossover occurs when the longer time frame EMAs move above the shorter time frame EMAs. On the contrary, bullish signals occur when the shorter time frame EMAs cross above the longer time frame EMAs. So now let's have a look at how to build the EMA ribbon indicator on AAX. So now let's have a look at how to build this indicator on AAX. The first thing you're going to want to do is to follow the instructions currently being shown on your screen now. To build the EMA ribbon, now you need to change the length of each of your EMAs to the following lengths as shown on the screen. Once you've input the data lengths shown and followed the previous instructions, your indicator should now be completed and look something similar to what is currently being shown on your screen. The EMA Ribbon Indicator Conclusion. The EMA Ribbon Indicator is highly effective at providing buy and sell signals in volatile markets alongside providing support and resistance. However, during periods of sideways trading, the indicator is ineffective and provides inaccurate signals. On the whole, the indicator is easy to follow and can be an effective part of an overall strategy.